Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to be watching an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. I think I played this one. Is this the one that things you can order things to fall from orbit uh, as supplies and like horses? I think I played this actually. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Metallic Gear Sold 5 is a game that premiered in theaters in 2016, written by his day old coach. <laughs> and like the developers, I did not finish the game all the way. This Yes, yes, I didn't finish it too. By his day old coach. His day Jim old coach. <laughs> and like the developers, I did not finish. <laughs> Wait a second, again. By his day old. His day coach old Jim coach Jim Mom. <laughs> okay. And like the developers, I did not finish the game all the way. This game follows yes. the chronicles of large manager after his mercenary army was blown up by the Illuminati, led by emo Jim Carrey's The Mask, tasked only with revenge in the rebuilding of his private army. The chief of considerable <laughs> size must struggle against the sub and supernatural in order to stop the son of the mask from being made. But the biggest challenge of our hefty captain is waking up from a coma, a battle which he struggles with for nine years oh, oh god now, you start to wake up from your coma and the nurse freaks out she goes <laughs> wait troy baker now. is this to troy baker is in this holy shit i didn't know that to be fair i didn't really pay attention to the story because it was just uh, ludicrous you start to wake up from your coma and the nurse freaks out she goes to get your doctor and he's just like no problem bro we already figured out what's wrong with you you got enough holes in you to make a spongebob cosplay <laughs> you also have more brain damage than logan paul you oh my an arm, god there was like a famine eight years back i don't know why you're freaking oh, no. out due to being in imminent danger from the illuminati you decide to redesign your face by turning up all the sliders as far as they can go <laughs> I used to do that in literally every game that had character Produces customization. A abomination who loves Fortnite. Just look how beautiful you are. <laughs> this produces a Habsburg abomination who loves Fortnite. What the fuck is that? This it looks like a fucking like rejected member of KISS, you know? Fortnite. Just look how beautiful you are. Jesus Christ. What? Bitch, I want a piggyback ride. Oh fuck! Oh my god! She's doing the crab walk, but do not worry, I have a plan. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So this pyromancer <laughs> named Ishmael comes and picks you up. I don't up. remember Only he this. Help you at all? He just watches. <laughs> Oh, this, is so <laughs> this is retarded. This is what the fuck. This reminds me of uh, that that one time Wolfenstein was like you on a wheelchair. You stumble into a floating nah. kindergartner by accident and then die. Yo, bitch, you ever seen Fantastic Fucking Four? It's a great movie. Take my word for it. Don't watch it. Just take my word for it. Or for suits setting fire to the building is activated this watering mechanism. I am foiled again by my close engine. You flop around after escaping the Human Torch. Run your way to Brazil. Oh, Jesus Christ. No! <laughs> Turns out the Illuminati's after you, and they ain't taking chances. You try to hide in a crowd, which is a genius maneuver. Then oh, the God. shows up again for no reason. Really, you ever try shooting the stove? It doesn't work. RPG! Uh, well... Your it just... Fucking, just stupid, what I just fucking sucked it! Ow! Just sucked it up! Yes, water. Oh, yeah, shit, bitch. Who knew? So Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Now it's time to leave the building, the stealthy way. But not before the way is blocked by a psychic child. What the fuck? Why the fuck are you guys all holding your guns sideways? That doesn't make you look cool at all. Alright, fuckers, let's see how it is. I guess I'm just gonna have to sit here and walk really so they just stop shooting me. That sound, though. You. <laughs> oh God. You're disgusting. Then you get an astonishing four fucking seconds of fire before the next cutscene. Oh, what the fuck now? <laughs> An APC. No fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> just moving backwards. Oh, oh. 
I wish they would have added the, the, the. Then he was going backwards. Jesus Christ. Now not a single automobile can interrupt us. I told them. Get in! Oh, you don't fucked up now, Snake. Oh, no. Poorly. Very poorly. Is that really angry, Joe? Because you don't fucked up is an angry Joe, like, you know, saying. Usually. You start to run away before your friend Oscar <laughs> shows up on a horse and he's yes. like, you gotta go. You Let's ride your go, horse bro. multiple oceans on your way to Afghanistan <laughs> without asking even a single question. You think robot arms Wait a second! Ah. Uh, wait a second. Is that... No, I was I was like, is that Gulf of Oman and like Persian Gulf? Like, is that it? No, it's not. Wait, I didn't. I don't remember they being in Iran, so I'm and probably not. Without asking even a single question, you think robot arms come for fucking free snake? You're my bitch that now. Was bad I brought that you here to rescue like an happening? angry guy. He's got one arm or something. Go get him, dude. The year is 1984. And the yeah, Soviet I remember this shit. Invading Afghanistan, and it's up to giant general to uninvade a village and then another. Uh, not now. No, no, no. <laughs> you do the sneak shit for a while until you Jesus. find the man himself, Kazuhira Miller. You put his glasses back on and then kidnap his crippled ass. You converse Jesus with him Christ. as you conclude your seven mile sprint. But before you can get to the. <laughs> Sorry, chat sneeze. Chopper, you are first with him as you conclude your seven mile sprint. But before you can get to the chopper, you are attacked by literal Illuminati zombies who run in fast. Yeah, that's that shit was creepy as fuck. The way fuck. you escape them is by walking past them, an easy way to get out of the police. On the helicopter ride back, he begins doing the meme speech. Why are we still here? After nine long years, the enormous executive is finally able to return to his mother base and receive like a really fucking long tutorial on how to run the mother base. He then accidentally throws himself into the ocean and is unfortunately. <laughs> exposed to the horrors of having to learn how to run the mother base again in oh, my to our mercenary <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i didn't get catch that at first but now it makes more sense he didn't finish it and then died. The mother base. Always auto save. He throws himself into the ocean and is unfortunately Idiot. exposed to the horrors of having to learn how to run the mother base again. In order to rebuild our mercenary army, we must do mercenary things such as killing people, blowing them up, and then killing them. You do these things without mercy. We finally get a big break when a man who goes by the code name of Sia pays us to go transfer funds to an unknown Sia. schmuck named Bin Laden. The only <laughs> issue being that, what? in true American fashion, all of the funds were misplaced into the Petra. Said funds are soon acquired peacefully if you make your escape into the deserts below. Oh god. What? What the around, fuck is that? But I'm dummy thick. And the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guard. Oh shit, the sneaky guy. <laughs> So Jim Carrey's The Mask shows up, and he's just like, haha, you're fucking stupid. I, Jim Carrey's The Mask, is the best. I could crush you right now, but I am not. Ooh, I go in big hand! So he sends the Illuminati zombies after you, and you drive away like a little bitch. <laughs> and that's the mission. It's time for more filler. Kill a man. Kill his friends. Blow up an armored column. Twice. Kidnap young impressionable males and send them to your anime prison in the sea. Set your helicopter music to virtual YouTuber. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that like Euro Truck Simulator or some other old truck simulators when it was just reading the music in your, like, you know, document musics back in Windows XP? Wait a second! Is that how it works? What another fucking bottom is like sans bottom a cover bottom a I my chocolate. Hey, chocolate is good. Lullaby factory sheep noises. <laughs> he's a he's a simp. He's a simp. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Get get good covers. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> That is so fucking funny. Enemy prison in the sea. Set your helicopter music to virtual YouTuber covers. Please collaborate with me. With the best. You travel the lands of Afghanistan to secure a Soviet scientist until you are <laughs> shot in the face. Sniper, where? 
you are forced to He's at the naked girl dance with the enemy sniper just narrowly defeating Oh yeah that's the fucking <laughs> <laughs> what the fucking is it? Directly on her face. Then you kidnap her because she's the first woman you've ever seen in like a decade. And let me tell you, the Metal Gear. Yeah, I, I, I was confused too. Solid fan base is really thirsty. On the way back, and she's the first Wait, woman you've ever I seen in to like read a that. decade. And let me tell you, the Metal Gear Solid fan Jesus base Christ. is this guy is to help me to to stop being so unipocrite. <laughs> Tell me by how much this comment wants to fuck quiet. Like you guys need to <laughs> Yeah, I just need a mod that gives her her job so I can actually enjoy the view. Um to be fair, it's not a very not a very military, you know, thing. How can you be quiet when those things move? It's I don't know. Thirsty. On the way back, a jet shoots oh, Jesus! The blinded by her massive titties. <laughs> the huge honcho finally returns to Mother Base, but Miller objects to quiet stay, saying that she'll distract the men from their anime rations. Then she teleports, and everyone's like, oh, really? she fucking teleport. It's time to find that song that she'll distract the men from their anime rations. She then she teleports, teleport. and everyone's like, oh, shit, she can fucking teleport. It's time to find that Soviet scientist again. He's in this power plant. How many customers do they have in Afghanistan? Using normal tactics, you get to the inside of the base, but something seems off. And using normal... <laughs> I, I, I believe you can actually order one of these as like a supply drop and a, a fucking box just how the f I don't know man tactics you get to the inside of the base but something seems off we'll need to modify postural control to accommodate a human pilot I share your urge you know I've always wanted to push a crippled guy down the stairs oh no I don't know why you keep thinking that we need a human pilot I literally have a ghost girl that controls metal take him away using the goofy handed robot oh, oh, look at the goofy robot run so that's all the gameplay we're gonna get for now better scan the document see where the fucker is he's over there you get over there and it's a base it's a good thing snake has knowledge of what is and isn't based you get inside and realize he's trying to Fuck develop off. an AI waifu which is perfect for your base but it's a surprise you use the stupid robot and get your helicopter oh my god I told you, dude. I got the big robot. I got the ghost. Put the two and two together. Okay, so I'm gonna be running away now. Oh, sweet. It has cannons. That's great. You put him on your horse and then run away like a bitch. By the way, you'll fail the mission if you did, but I just did ignore that, please. You hide from... Wait, you can't just... Big guy instead at nighttime. You get back to base and people aren't really happy with him. Turns out he probably caused your base to be destroyed about nine years ago. <laughs> this makes Miller very bad, yeah. so he forces him to do the stanky leg. This scene is genuinely oh, no. painful to watch. Oh it's no! Oh no! God, yeah, it's... Don't Seems like do everyone that. hates Emmerich, including God, who designed his legs. The plot of this game can be very stupid and convoluted, so to summarize, Jim Carrey have ghost and robot and fire. Snake Man have woman named Quiet and man named Emmerich. Their copulation is inevitable. He claims that what they're doing in Africa is the missing piece. A weapon. <laughs> you find out from Emmerich that the Illuminati is working on something in Africa, oh so now you're there to find an oil field. Okay, let's see. You get to the oil field the and find a bunch of brilliant. bodies at the bottom of it. I choose to ignore these bodies while I dick around some more in a place that lacks formal law enforcement. Welcome to Africa. It's time to sprint around, get wet and wild, visit Ocelot for literally no reason, and go back to my base to creepily watch a woman <laughs> in a cage. It's wild. Visit Ocelot for literally no reason and go back Seriously, Quiet is the just the most out of place person in the whole series. Like, okay, a jacket would have made it more like, you know, why is she fucking naked? <laughs> why is she naked? I mean, it's because, 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 because. Like, seriously, Kujuma games don't really, don't really make sense most of the time unless you actually think about them deeply. Maybe she's like that because maybe she's just a robot and that's not skin. Maybe, I don't fucking know. Back to know. my base to creepily watch a woman in a cage. It turns out she can't speak or wear clothes because somebody threw a fiery cloak at her. She breathed through her skin, so watch her in the shower. You try to get to your helicopter, but she just shows up. Hey, okay. Snake, how you doing? I know it's okay. That makes that makes some sort of sense. At least it, it at least there is a reason for it that they tell you either though that reason is re re retarded through her skin so watch her in the shower you try to get to your helicopter but she just shows up hey snake how you doing i know i'm supposed to keep her in the cage but she's got like big fucking <laughs> then she shoots the helicopter blades like this 
It's finally time to do a real mission. The Illuminati are escorting a truck and you must take it. Mm. You blow up the escort and ambush the truck, but it's filled with gamers. But before you die horribly, you notice that they make everybody nearby mysteriously unconscious. The Illuminati are escorting a truck and you must take. Looks like the tank driver fell asleep. It's mine now. <laughs> My truck yes. Thank you. Really good sign. The truck was filled with nuclear material. It's time to go out there and rescue this guy. He tells you of a mysterious plot of the Illuminati to kidnap children and harvest their adrenochrome. You head to their secret African Why? compound, ensuring that the clap of your ass cheeks doesn't alert the guards. Yeah. Locating their location, the massive master finds them to be trapped in a mine of miners. Sneaking very carefully, <laughs> you enter the mine and find the children in a cage. Oh no, that's a fuck. A minor, minor. That's that's fucked up. <laughs> oh no! Amazing. Mission complete. Amazing. Mission complete. Okay, but seriously, you take them all to your helicopter, but you only have to rescue two of them. My man Bill Clinton needs that eternal life. You take him back to oh, base, no. and they tell you of a place where people disappear mysteriously. You head to Africa in the Watame helicopter, and the place is covered in fog permanently. You head to Africa in the Watame helicopter. <laughs> Helicopter and the place is covered in fog permanently. Very good sign. You head through a mysterious tunnel, can't really see that backfiring until you reach the zone. There's no one around, which assures me of its safety. Oh god, what the fuck? They're playing night court to their throats. It's awful. <laughs> it's like a dance party without the dancing. Oh no! <laughs> this this sounds painful. Oh. Snake, I can fucking see you hiding behind that child right there. Do you think you're like fooling me? You think I can't see you? What are you doing? Fine then, I guess I'll just have to unplug this guy's life support with a bullet. Bitch, you're next. Actually, just kidding. I got the fire guy, so I might as well use him. So you run away because his only method of attack is slowly walking. I'm supposed to be the crippled person. So you do a boss fight with the human torch, but I figured out how to beat him in like two seconds. Hint, it involves water. Oh. That was a pretty huge buildup for like a shitty boss. The Man oversized makes sense. overseer comes back home to see all the children that he didn't rescue. Sorry, kids, your parents died listening to Nightcore. Later, bitches. It's time to head. Jesus. Back to Africa, Jesus. And then back to the mother base because we were attacked. <laughs> and then back, back to Africa to kill this guy and also to beat up this orphan because he's white. Yeah, fuck white people. They suck. Then you kidnap him, sending him to your anime prison to be indoctrinated. <laughs> Okay, that's 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 torture too. To be fair, if they're in fan of Nightcore, don't do that to them. Shows him man spreading. When you get home, he's just like, "I fucking hate you, Dad. You only got one eye." You <laughs> <laughs> what I still a will not turn. eat my broccoli. You give me. Oh, it's time to walk fast. Oh my God, <laughs> he's, he's okay. <laughs> this Max, I I actually miss Max's over editing because he's just insane with this. <laughs> Meanwhile in Africa, the substantial administrator is honing his child beating skills. Oh you think no! Your guns make you safe. Snake, I, I would hate to rain on this parade, but the, the entire base is sick. You've been beating children in Africa for a week now. Find out who's sick and quarantine them. You look it up and decide that only people with stupid names are going into gay baby jail, such as Doom Shark. Sadistic Bison, though. What the fuck? Razor Buffalo. Why, why do they, is it, I assume these are code names because these are not real names because that doesn't, I mean, to be fair, they had Chalancy Javis at some point in the one of their games. Vengeful they? Crab, Sinister Gibbon, and Punching Vulture. It's obvious that this disease was the same one that we discovered in that warehouse. Nightcore? And we find a way to stop it. You track down the only two men with information regarding, okay, then fine. You traverse the planes to find the last escape and he explodes. He's fine, don't worry about it. From his mangled corpse, we extract information regarding the one man who can cure this disease. And thus we set off to save our base. Along the way, we encounter normal cinematic shots from people who aren't horny and marine jeez marine getting a, a bit too horny you know she's probably like doing it um i don't like it i don't like it disease and thus we set off to save our base why are they only focusing on their boobs Along though the way we encounter normal cinematic shots from people who aren't horny and are faced down by a group of elite illuminati snipers your battle lasts hours as you carefully fight for every inch of ground occasionally shooting them in the face other times you must go through the rain and some days you must feed on a tree frog uh, sorry sorry I, I was thinking of like a better game your mission is to infiltrate the jungle and capture all of the monkeys so you walk past the fuckers <laughs> to see this big mansion you go into it and realize it's filled with enemies 
zombies. That sucks for them. You descend into the basement only to realize you basically found a wizard. Yo, I heard you got a problem and I have a solution. But first, what? you need to shut the fuck up. The Illuminati is making a weapon that only hurts you if you speak a certain language. That's why they were testing out Nightcore in that guy's throat, poor bastard. Not to worry though, the cure is weed. Ha have some weed. <laughs> okay, true. I always, I always try to say this, like an apple a day keeps the doctor away and uh, one or two joints a day keeps the therapist away. Like you need to believe that. That's absolutely true. But an apple, seriously? Hurry up and smoke it already, you Pizza Hut bitch. You take him on your shoulders because no one can walk in this universe, and you make your daring dash outside and into the helicopter. Well, fuck it, never mind. Pilots high as shit from all the weed. <laughs> he was, his face you was wake burned, up man. fine, I guess, but it's time to fight these fuckers again. Uh, this is the worst boss fight. They can be killed through normal gun emplacements. Why even bother making them? Then you leave, and everyone in the base injects weed. It's fine. Marijuana is probably the most dangerous drug with your enemy. The most dang. A prison fully cured and your weeaboos at the ready. All that remains is to stop Jim Carrey's evil plan to probably <laughs> commit ethnic cleansing. But oh first, God. someone tells me I need to beat up a white child. This is my calling. Yes. Thank you. Okay, fuck you, Dad, throwing me on top of flashbangs and shit. It's finally time Just to kill him. Jim Carrey and stop his giant kill robot in Afghanistan. Shit. And nothing will help me more than bringing along cripples and children. You make your descent and begin entering Illuminati <laughs> Castle. To enter the base, you climb through dirt, over walls, past security cameras, and through the brain matter of most of the guards. Yes. Making it to the apex of the base, you prepare yourself for a final showdown with Jim Carrey. Fucking fire dude again. Throw him we into the are ocean. Not so different, you and I. Just, just give, just give quiet like a fireproof, like you know, clothing or suit, and teleport that motherfucker into the ocean, man. My face fell off. Your arm fell off. L let's be groupies. Oh. Oh yeah. You need to get inside my fucking van right now. Oh, <laughs> no, please. Okay, Do you okay. Know why I quit my job as a successful Hollywood actor to run the Illuminati boss? Because I think I'll be forced to tell you. Think about your base, Snake. The people you've taken, or the methods you've used. Anime prison in the sea. Their anime rations. Big fucking bowls. Nightcore. Anime prison. <laughs> Weeaboo's sending him to your anime prison to be in <laughs> There's one commonality between all of these things. Yeah, Your obsession with anime. <laughs> this is not anime. This is not an I mean, this can be considered like anime-ish or otaku-ish, but not... That's, um, I mean, Hachama... Miko. Anime has created all of this, and it's up to the Illuminati to destroy it. Look at the top super chat. <laughs> channels on YouTube. Oh snake. my god. All virtual YouTubers. Anime, which must be cleansed. <laughs> I love it that his focus on horror life is so good. Like, just From this earth, we are to know peace. And for that snake, I have my language virus. Oh my god! All of those who are we going Japanese to destroy Japanese languages? It in a holy Please fire, don't! The filth of which if you, even if we do that, the Indonesian and uh, the Indonesian and um, English English branches will survive. Will survive. Hey, you do shut the fuck up back there. <laughs> <laughs> evil will spring forth like a flowing waterfall if I do not silence their high voices and their hoarse dreams for the rest of time. I no, Aqua, no, Snake. What I must do. <laughs> this is stupid. Of this I love it. Ride. This is so stupid. I'm at McDonald's. Do you want anything? So he takes you to the giant robot for some reason and is like, well, I might as well watch a boxing match. Go fight the fire guy, I guess, because I can't kill you myself. You know, Snake, I think I realized something about you. You're so strong, they would take a giant robot to kill you, metaphorically, of course. I'm being given real bad ideas by this ghost bitch, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go get up and walk over here now because seeing your ugly ass face makes me wanna fucking kill myself real bad, Snake. See ya. Um. Oh. Who is doing this? Quiet! Quiet! Oh, ha, ha, 
Ah, you've got to a real effect to know that I'm a giant robot. <laughs> Idiots! Snake, you dumb bitch. Try to cover me in water now, motherfucker. So Snake ties oh, to a no. skateboard and grows a testicle on its left shoulder. Then the entire <laughs> army comes to fight it, so it counters with a literal sword. Oh, I see you running away from me over there. Don't you oh think I forgot my about you, you fucking cunt? Holy shit! Well, he used the seaboard! Nice! I will finally have my revenge, Snake. You are all mine! Ah! Haha, <laughs> that was so good! I finally got him, uh, the guy, the, the, the dude I was chasing for the, the past three weeks. What do I do Mass, now? Mass, uh, help us. Rewrite the records. Wait a minute, is that cut doing the anime monologue that he's practiced for like nine years again? <laughs> if I have to listen to this guy talk for more than 20 seconds, I will blow up his brains out. Planted will infest the system. 17, no 16, 15. Now. You really aren't fucking getting this. You really don't understand. Major. Oh my fucking god, this clown is trying to talk I to me. Dude, what are you even saying? Shut the fuck up. Neither of them are dead. Snake, do you know how loud a car engine is? You're not being sneaky. So Snake drives to the boss fight location, and as it turns out, Alexa, the boss man. is bad. You find Tesla, the not Alexa, the idiot. and then shoot him for ten minutes. I thought that we established that they couldn't do that, so why <laughs> even build the giant robot? I shot at him for so long that it became nighttime. Eventually, you kill the fucker, and the child that you beat for fun is contacted by a ghost. Oh shit, my giant testicle's falling off. That's how you know it's pretty bad. Fucking yes! Nice! Finally! You get in the helicopter with your buddy Miller and set off to do one last act of revenge. Oh. Jim Carrey, no! Finish me. Kill me! Can do! <laughs> okay. Thank you. Add ammo, sorry bro. So you walk away and notice a gunshot, and Emmerich's like, I did it! And it's time to go back to your base to <laughs> wrap up the story. The swole sergeant has won. Nothing now stands in the way of our band of misfits and the realization of their hyper-militarized army of radical weeaboos. We together look out into the skies of the future <laughs> of potential and see the giant robot with his left testicle that reattached. Is, oh I my guess we God. just took him. We together. That is so true. To be fair, there are some radical stuff happening in otaku culture that we call them, you know, super fanboys or like stalkers and other people. But like, at least it's not, to, to, to right now, it's not as fanatical and just crazy as some of other, other like cults and weird stuff. But yeah, calm down, otaku culture. Let us be peaceful about everything. Leather than other oh, with stuff. his left testicle reattached. I guess we just took a I had some together stories that with that our that enemies not destroyed good. and with the help of a giant robot can overcome anything except for the rest of this game. Ay, 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 ay. What? Yes, as it turns out, the game actually isn't over yet, but the budget is. A company named Konami had shot developer Hideo Kojima in the face and said, why can't you make pachinko machines so they stop making the fucking game? What well, we got it. That shit was the worst thing that happened to Silent Hill series ever. Like, how can Konami be so fucking stupid to do that? Just get a loan for a silent heal. It's gonna blow up. Like, the PT is still being played. Like, that's how people were ready for another silent heal. And these cunts did that shit. Like, pull that shit up. Pachinko, fuck. Yeah, man. The result is the software equivalent of a stillborn infant where none of the cutscenes have any context. So I'll try to get through them as fast as I can. Race. Someone on the base is probably a traitor. Miller suspects Emmerich, but he was a very functional horse when I was out in the field, so I don't know. I go back to my base and notice that something's wrong. The little fucking punching bag painted my entire base to be Ocelot just to spite me. I go to get some dirt on Emmerich by capturing his waifu that we forgot, and it just kind of does this. Bye. You try to interrogate Quiet since Miller thinks she's the traitor, but she's literally incapable of speaking. I think he's a little stressed out. Hey boss, I thought <laughs> that Miller wanted a vacation, so I grafted his face onto a oh, dog. No. He shits on the floor now, it's great. I do like Billy inside, but he shits on the floor. What the f- <laughs> Four now, it's great. You do like a billion side missions I don't care about. If this sounds like a disconnected checklist, that's because it is. Cutscenes and plot moments happen randomly and are completely okay. disconnected from one another. Until this happens. What the? Shit! 
Uh, zombies? Behind you! Behind you! Jimmy, no! There's been a mysterious disease outbreak on the base, no doubt caused by the hidden traitor. Yes. Snake moves in to investigate, forced to watch his men suffer within the quarantined halls. You reach the end of the base and realize the dark truth of this disease. It's the language virus, and it's airborne. If your men escape, they will surely infect others. The choice, therefore, becomes simple. This is so fucked up. Oh my god. This is actually fucked up. Like it's just it it, it, it feels like you're headshotting like Presley or something in Mass Effect. Like it's just like as it feels awful. Your all your crew, man. Why do you have a horn, man? And where is the fire veil? Viabu army. It's your fault. They are dead because of you. Well, yes, I shot them one by one. They were on your side. I'm on your side. And you turn them all to ashes. Oil your fucking I legs, mate. They make noises. Life, but I can rub your ashes all over my face. Mm, feels so good. What the fuck is wrong with you, boss? <laughs> Ew! Huey Emmerich, you stand accused of being the traitor and for yelling at people during a funeral. It can't be me. I, I was busy playing League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fuck you for playing You're League of Legends, man. Snake. You're all just a bunch of black pill doomer cucks. <laughs> Everyone can see it. Cause what the fuck is Doomer cucks. <laughs> what is this fucking tweet chat? A bunch of black pill doomer cucks. Everyone can see it. Cause what the fuck is he saying? That. This leads me into the final twist of the game, a disconnected short wherein it is revealed that you are actually the boss's body double this whole time. This means that Jim Carrey practiced a speech for nine years and then gave it to the wrong guy. I hope you understand why the end of the game is seen as abrupt, and in fact, so is the end of the entire Metal Gear franchise. In the end, it wasn't Jim Carrey that killed Big Boss. It wasn't a giant robot. It wasn't the Human Torch or it Psychic Powers. It was a fucking pachinko machine. <laughs> if you're an executive at Konami, I would suggest that you put your ear near a jet engine. But before we close, Jesus let's all appreciate Christ. the efforts of a hardworking man who didn't even want to make this game. We're sorry, Hideo Kojima. That's fucked up. I'm still pissed about Silent Hill, man. This, I, I, I wasn't really the biggest fan of Metal Gear, Metal Gear at all. I enjoyed the games, but n wasn't really like a super fan. But Silent Hill, man, Silent Hills was like a ray of hope in that era when everything was just garbage, and we didn't get it. And it became, it became little, it literally became like. Oh man. Yeah. Kojima. But he has, he has another game, so hopefully we see what it is, and it's not gonna be, you know... I mean, Death Stranding is decent, but like, I, when a game is just too crazy and too long, you can't really enjoy it nowadays, especially like people who are like, in, are like uh, really good with Hideo Kojima, like really love it, like his work, like... They kind of aged now, and they don't have as much time to like, spend a few hundred hours on like just one game but yeah hopefully uh, we will see something that resembles silent hill at some point in our lives because we need another one just another another thing to like redeem that franchise because this franchise needs something it needs something good i wish something like resident evil happens when resident evil was like came out again as like resident evil 7 
was so much hype behind it, man. There was so much hype behind it. That demo, that fucking amazingly creepy and amazing, like, welcome to the family demo. That shit was brilliant. And, of course, Seven Village came out. People still loved it because it was the continuation of the story that they loved. In that, in that like, uh, you know, in that, um, what do you call it? In that, in the same shoes as Ethan. But, yeah. Like, diversion from third person was a bit not good. But, like, again, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a good game, people really don't give a shit about tradition. As long as it's good. The game is good. As long as they enjoy it, they're gonna love it. But, yeah. Man. To be fair, I... I didn't enjoy this game that much, sadly. I was just, like, uh, thrown off. Because when we're in, like, a military unit, I assume everyone's going to have uniforms and shit. As they, but, like, this is more like a mercenary, so everyone can meet. And her body was born, and she could... I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Wear a uniform. Everyone needs to wear a uniform. But, yeah, see you. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this game. Uh, not my, one of my favorites, but I, I enjoyed it to some degree. See y'all later.